we know that witnesses make mistakes. We know that they sometimes fail to identify the guilty and they sometimes falsely identify the innocent. And so what we're trying to understand in my research is why witnesses make these mistakes. The research that I do at UC Riverside examines how witnesses make identification decisions. And I'm talking about the sorts of decisions that witnesses would make in a room like this, where there's a suspect in a lineup, and the police want to know if that suspect is in fact the person who committed the crime, or perhaps not the person who committed the crime. Trying to find out how witnesses make these decisions is a difficult task because we can't really study real crimes. And so rather than try to study real crimes, we bring the crimes into the laboratory where we have more control and we can study them in a much more effective way. So what we do actually is we stage crimes in my laboratory. One of the things that I've been focusing on in my research is the social interaction between police officers who administer the lineup and witnesses who are looking at the lineup and making the decisions. For example, a police officer may have an expectation that number four in the lineup is the guy who did it. And so the police officer might show that lineup to a witness and the witness looks at it and says, number three sure looks a lot like him. And the police officer may simply ask for clarification. Are, are you telling me that number three is the guy who did it, or are you just telling me that number three looks a lot like the guy who did it? But the witness may interpret that as, oh, the police officer is challenging me or is asking for clarification. Mm, maybe number three isn't the right guy. And we simulate that in our laboratory experiments, and the results are pretty dramatic that those subtle kinds of interactions will steer witnesses away from one response and steer them toward another.